Red two hunters have a lord to slay and a kingdom to save. They must not walk, but they must run. Two hunters who know who they are. Because if they didn't, shit would be whack. And they also must whack. Whack a monster. I'm talking gangster whack. <laughs> that was whack, man. I'm talking gangster whack. It sounds like a whole other different genre to gangster rap. Okay, that's enough. Are we there yet? I don't know, let me check. I mean, the hole's the problem. All right! <laughs> wow, he went straight in. That's quite the big splash as well, if I'm completely honest. I don't know how they even reached all the way back up here. I'm half expecting just to look up and see and see Cotton emerge from the from the hole at the volcano mountain and just start surfing down this... Oh my god! Hey, I made it back. So, uh, fun? Yeah, it was pretty cool. I can't believe I just did a whole new monster by myself. Wow, while going down that giant mountain water slide? That was the monster. Sorry, that was the monster. That, if you that, could just... If you, that was the monster. If you could stay in this plane of reality, please. That would be... Oh, If you could just... Oh. <laughs> if you could just please just remain anchored to existence. Yep, you're gone. The okay. whole oh. time. Okay. Oh! Oh, he's gone back in. There's a hole down here! Alright, Chiche. Lord. Lord me. Make me a lord in your kingdom! Well, I gave you a bedroom earlier. That sort of counts. You didn't give me a bedroom. You just put me back on the ship that I rode in on. Yeah, but I said it was your bedroom, and that's sort of like having land. It's literally not on land. Yeah, but like, it's land wherever you put it. Just give me your bloody quest sheet. Okay, as long as I don't have to give you a title. <laughs> and the information we do have seems to contradict itself. A savage crawling beast and a giant okay. man. Some of it what? is a bit silly. Sorry, there's not much I mean, to go on, but judging by the knight's injuries, it's very dangerous. What? <laughs> it's I mean, like I maimed soldiers nearby. Hmm, judging by how much it absolutely annihilated those men, I be careful. <laughs> Ooh, night. Okay. Oh, it's the one from earlier, isn't it? It is. It's the one that's already tried he's to a, murder us. He's got a lot of blood in his mouth. He's probably been chewing on some meat. Oh, apparently that's what the perfect specimen looks like. I mean, they're not wrong, are you? That is a sexy entity. Oh, mo oh that's pretty. It is very pretty. That's not dancing. The other things I accept... Oh, what, Moonlight what about Nocturne. A, I know it says that it... Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Oh, you can kind of hear it's like okay. spine snapping. Yeah. Okay, it's just getting big. Oh! Oh, that's cool. So I have to I have to take the clues here and say this is a werewolf monster. I'm trying really hard to stay awake. <laughs> Thanks, Erin. Some valuable input there. You really appreciate that. I'm Fearain, and I like to take part in conversations. Now watch me walk forward careful, like I'm on a careful, catwalk. Careful, she's gonna. She, you're gone. Gone, careful. You careful, you you're in at any moment. Gone. Ah, I have been stabbed through the stomach. I mean, on one hand, I'm happy you just got stabbed, but on the other hand, what? I'm not cool with random stabbings. Sorry, I have to end the bleed status. No, that's fair enough. I mean, it wasn't a lethal stabbing. It was actually, it was sort of playful, honestly. Like, I, I don't mind it that much. What, what is this dog doing to me? Did that dog just try to pee on me? I love the innocent whistle walk away! Fearane, maybe, did you have anything to do with that? No, it was, it was the bird. It's that bird. Fearane, taking a break. <laughs> you can't just say <laughs> taking a break after I've just <laughs> accused you of murder. Well, Attempted. I guess you brought here here to hunt. Okay, Fearane. We can finish what we started in the Shrine Ruins. I you like leap in the it. air, and then I'll bat you with my greatsword. Okay. No, not but that's you. the game we always play. <laughs> yes, but not in front of other people. You can't play the game with her in front of me. I mean, you know the game. Yeah, but it's, it's our game. We can bat greatswords later. 
Fine. I'll just be my own ball. There's so much wrong with everything that just got said. God, this map is cool. It is, and it has a permanently evil-looking glare. It does. It Like, this map is just passively evil. Like, it's like, it's not even subtle about it. It's like, ooh, under what's going on on the Citadel? Literally, if you look at any of the high points, no matter which of them, they all look like some crazy creature could just be hiding, ready to walk over it menacingly and I mean, slowly. I feel like the creature about to fight is going to be very menacing and very slow. Oh, there's a spider in a tower! That's not a fairy tale I remember. One I remember. Oh, giant spider, let down your hair. Oh, my web is so long, please climb up it. Haha, <laughs> I've caught you! <laughs> also, why can you walk through this tower? Wait, that's actually a really good point. Like, it just phases out of existence when you're up here. And they expected you to be up here because they put endemic life here. Is it real? It's a ghost tower. Well, we're about to meet the Lord of the Frost. The king of the ice, the master of the burr. It's. 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 Lunagaron! Now is the time of wolves. Lunagaron, come on, death won't be long when I appear. I only smell fear when I'm near. Flay you with my ice claw, paw, you want more? I adore! The whiff of blood. Run red as hunters lay dead, spotting lopped off heads, and it must be said, I'm a lord born and bred, and I swear by the moon I will be your doom. Hello there. Oh my, that tail is, is funky. I like it. Oh, you're just, it looks like it's made of metal almost. It's got very Kashala vibes. Do you bloody mind? N what? what? <laughs> That's what you get for biting me! This thing is gorgeous. <laughs> Oh yeah, sorry, I'm just having a face-off with a Remobra. I just really like the eyebrows. Like, you can you can see a little human face in there. You can see a little human face in there! Is it, would it be weird to say it reminds me of Fugen? <laughs> it's literally the eyebrows and the beard just make me think of Fugen, just instantly. Oh, is this tail like a thruster for ice? Oh, it is an ice thruster tail. This is a very pretty creature. He's a, a Garon. So like, a Dogaron, Lunagaron. Yeah. I mean, does that make sense? Do big big dog monster? Yeah, big dog wolf monster. Yeah, I mean, I, as I've been saying, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I just wanted to do some oh, stuff. Oh, it's oh, going to be... Please oh. tell me this is going to be a Zamtrios so where he has a third phase where he just... Is he... Okay, for a second I thought... Yeah, he's turned into a fanged beast. Oh, that's oh. really cool. It's you literally the fanged... the sound of his sight. It's a freaking... That is exactly what I was hoping it would do, but I didn't want to get my hopes up. It's a fanged wyvern that turns into a fanged beast to, to accentuate the whole werewolf concept. That's really good. Look, he stood on his hind legs. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm referring to. <laughs> God, the sound of his slice, 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 slice. Oh, that's so good. Keep doing more cool stuff. It's only been ten seconds. You've got more. Um, are you at all concerned about the big giant fog of war circular arena behind us? That's actually a really great question. Like something about that screams Elder Dragon home. Let's go stick our faces into it violently. Oh, that seems a little dangerous. Oh, we might see some things we don't want to. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. oh. okay. All okay. right. That. Look, wow. I'm, I mean, I hazard a guess and say two things. One, Lunagaron probably sleeps here. Two. There's an elder dragon that lives here. There is totally an elder dragon that lives here. This is amazing. Oh yeah, it's awesome. Like it really except like Hmm. So the thing is, like these lords are ruling over the area, right, currently? But as they've said, they don't wander out of the kingdom. They're not supposed to be here. So they're not what caused the three sides of the map to have three different elemental sort of focuses. So I have to feel like, like this isn't naturally occurring in this close area on what used to be a clearly like some sort of massive fortress. I, something must have caused the multiple different biomes, right? Do you think we're getting like a sap elder dragon and like a frost elder dragon? And then obviously I assume probably Melzino in the other area. <laughs> a sap elder dragon. I mean, a sap elder dragon would be really cool. It's not quite a standard element, but it gives it a lot of room to mess with stuff. Like it could have like a sticky web-like effect without it literally being web. I guess you're not wrong. Be like Valhazak with effluvium, but sap. Yeah, I could totally see that it being be a like thing. A, it could be like a living slime. I'll be honest, if there is a sap-based Elder Dragon, that's oh! got a decent chance of being on my top monster list because I fucking love tree monsters. <laughs> I really... Because I, I fucking love sap, man. I love like, I sap. Just, I really like sap. Whenever there's a tree, 
I bleed it. I fucking love that this guy goes on two legs and basically like is half fanged wyvern, half fanged beast. Both fang beast and five five wy five wyverns. Five wyverns. Five wyverns. That's a lot of wyverns. Hey man, they you make wanna burgers get, you wanna get a, a burger from five wyverns? <laughs> I hear they make them out of the old long pork. It's not like Fang Beast traditionally stand on two legs. It's, it's less the standing on two legs and more the, like the shape that he stands in because it's the whole hunched over, uh, like upward arching type back type thing. Like he looks like Rajang when he's not literally the walking. In fact, he goes full hind leg werewolf. Oh, I love that so much. It's really yeah. good. Hey, you as a connoisseur of monsters that give themselves ice armor are obligated to love Lunagra. I've literally been giving it tons of praise the whole time. What, what, what do you want from me? What are you expecting here? Whoa! I, I, oh my okay, god! Okay. Now he's got ice claws. And he's got glowing red bits! He's got Saragin! He's literally learning he's got Saragin! Whoa, backflip! Whoa! Okay. Good lord! Look he's at killed. him! As we go! This is a gorgeous fucking monster! Look at him! That is so cool! He just bounced, he did a wall attack! He did a wall thing! Like he just went full like Rajang arms! He did! And his glowing face? Oh, it's such I a good look. I love monsters oh, with wow. glowing faces. Oh, he did a rock pull with the claws. Yeah, no, he is, he is very pretty. It's not even just the face. What is that little twirly dance foot? I like it. Don't go. No, Fear Rain, don't flash him. I want to see him do stuff. Fear Rain, we've well, talked about this. No flashing mid hunt. Yeah, he, uh, he does a bit of damage. I love the sound of the claws. Yeah, the shwink, 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 shwink. Like, it feels like a haircut. It does. And you know what they say about that fresh haircut feeling? It's good. It's good. Because apparently you score field goals in a barber shot. Well, yeah. I mean, what type of other goals are you going to score in a barber shot? Hair goals? In a barber shot? Yeah, you know, you need to you need to make sure you cut the hair on your bullets before you fire them. <laughs> All right, I slide, man. That's both of us right now. Sorry, I have a condition where I have to describe everyone by what they're currently doing. That's a weird condition. I just set myself up for him and he slapped me before I hit the ground. Oh. <laughs> the ice oh, that claws roar. are so cool. That roar. <laughs> what? Oh, no, they're gone. I get the feeling they're a breakable thing. His eyes shattered like my heart when I watched that happen. And now I know only darkness. As cold misery grips my soul, like winter overtaking springs, springs. Should I call someone? Warmth, which is weird because springs after winter. So if That's winter's true. coming again, something's gone very wrong with the general well, planet. Well, it is, it is, it is still coming. It just might not be next. It has to wait its turn. All right, winter, stop jumping the queue. Winter, there is an orderly system, and there is no fast passes on the seasons. Thank you. That's my public service okay sorry lunagaron i'll get back to fighting you now obviously now you're actually fighting him i can say lunagaron is one of the one of the monsters i got to have a oh. have a go against yeah. way back when i when i had the little uh you know the little little, little that was a really preview. well-timed flash for your reign that was a very well-timed flash but that was a very limited hunting environment oh yeah where i did not get to properly you know deeply examine him and what he does yeah, this is, this is honestly, like, this, I, I'm gonna need some time to digest it, but this is, uh, thematically, and both the way the fight feels so far, one of the coolest monsters that I've fought in a very long time. God, that backflip jump forward slice is so good. Yeah, it is, like, it's a lot of, it's the thing, it's like, it's an ice monster, but this is mostly physical attacks that it's using, and I like that. I love physical based monsters that have the element but it's not their only thing it's not their main thing even it's just sort of there it's gone howling mad for your rain it's why did gone we invite howling you? mad why did we invite you why did we invite her genuinely why Sorry, did, why we did you her? invite her she's not she's not my friend <laughs> i don't know your dad seems to think quite highly of her yeah but he's not my friend either whoa oh i found a hole please add context rapidly well now I, I've got a I've got a I've got a big blue geode that is shaped like an egg in my hands and I'm carrying it. What is with you and finding large objects to carry? I'm getting really good at this. It's not a skill you should develop. Alive Kestodon! This is where they're hiding. Oh, what they live? They oh, okay. Do. So you know the crystal chunks that we keep that we keep finding and mining. I have found the ability to just take a whole chunk. So where where are you? 
I'm, I don't know. I'm fucking lost in here. I accidentally fell in a hole, and, and I can't find the way out now. Oh, I think I found the hole. That's the hole. <laughs> All right, I shall also enter the the deep, deep dark abyss. Oh, my God. I have found a unique item called the stately storage what? box. The stately storage box? It has worn tableware and antique tableware. Ooh, antique dishware and utensils, a quaint reminder of years long past. Okay, Alice, have you gone to Wonderland? What the hell are you talking? We're on Just the keep map. going. Just keep going down. Should I bring my, my egg? Yeah, of ah. course. I'm going to go get a new one. The antique table? Yeah, keep going. Down. Down. I don't trust you or this tunnel, if I'm honest with you, man. This is a really crazy area. Oh. Yeah, it literally... What? I know, right? I'm... Okay. There was a table in there. It was an antique. Stately storage box. Worn tableware. Antique dishware and utensils. A quaint reminder of years long past. I have to assume it's from the Citadel before it got all fucked up by elements. This is such a weird find in a weird location for just You're account welcome. points. If I'm good at one thing, it's it's accidentally falling in strange holes. All right, let's go run. Sorry about that. We got lost in a giant hole in the ground and found a you're table. You're welcome. Uh, coincidentally, also what you say if you're a delivery person who brings water uh, pulling mechanisms from the ground. What? Greeting, sir. You're welcome. Oh. I'm funny. Oh. I'm stunned. Oh. The Nagaron did not appreciate that. Like, imagine if charities, right, that, that provide, like, wells and fresh... I can imagine charities. ...drinking water to... Like, <laughs> Imagine Charities is again a very different band. <laughs> we're Imagine Charities! We do the same songs, but, but they actually we give our money away. <laughs> and welcome back to Monsters Have Talent. Our next contestant is Lou Nagaron, palented by Cotton. And take it away. It's me! Backflip! That's my new trick. Do you like do you like it? I can't comment during the act, it's all you right now. I'll judge it afterwards. Um, I'm, I'm sort of, I'm about out of things to do. I, I don't have that, I, there's sort of not much going on here, I'll be honest with you. See, I can jump. You you can't bring the monster up to the judging I panel. am now a judge. Uh, uh. He seems to now be uh, smashing uh. his entry into the wall and throwing it on the ground. Unconventional, to say the least. I think I like Garen Golm's design better, but this one as a combination of design and fight is really, really good. But he doesn't have a big finishing super. I mean, attack. we haven't let him try. We've just been breaking him. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. All right, Lunagar on. It's all... <laughs> Understandable. Have a great day, sir. This is your fault, Fearin. I'm going to stand here until you tell me it's not. <gasps> I'm offended. Like, it really ponies up, you know? And I'm gonna go back on my earlier statement. Garen Gold is so cool. <laughs> I'm so I... torn. Like, I don't know. It's so hard to say this early on. I've only seen them, like, one time. Well, it's that's not enough. That, isn't it? Ow. I'm gonna say they're close, and I think that's that's a good enough answer for the moment, because I really like Garen Gold, and I really like Luna Garen, and they're they... both very high up there. Are they worthy lords? They are worthy lords. They are absolutely worthy lords. Stop. Stop killing him. We want him to do his super attack. Oh, yeah. And you just you just cracked his tail, you monster. It was just the tail. I wanted to see what was in there. What was in there? Also, I assume that means you can't cut it off. Why did he just did slap he... himself into the wall? Bad dog. Bad dog. You always do this, Lunagaron. You're just going to kill the hunters. Get it together. You can do this. Lunagaron! Wait, what? Apparently there's 10 minutes left. How is there 10 minutes left? Uh, because there's 10 minutes left. I don't know how else to explain it. Sorry, Lunagaron, but you've had your time. If you have a super move that we haven't seen yet, then you should have done it in the last 40 minutes. I have prevented you from dying. He was definitely about to do something cool, and then he just died. I think that's what he was about to do. I mean, that's a cool thing to do, I guess. You wanna see a super attack? I'll show you a super attack! Look. He never went to sleep. He didn't. Maybe he doesn't. I mean, he's a werewolf. They don't really have that capability. God, I love how fast rigor mortis affects tongues in this universe. Me too. 
And so does Fear Rain. That's why she's walking on it. Your thigh. I'm trying really hard to what about my thigh? <laughs> I'm trying really hard to stay awake. This is the only way I can do it. <laughs> I thought maybe the <laughs> thought maybe getting licked by a dead blue agar on tongue <laughs> might gross me out enough to stay awake. Oh, look at the bottom of the tongue. Why do they put so much detail into the bottom of the tongue? How many people are going to see that for a prolonged period of time? I mean, as of now, thousands. That's true. Let's just, let's just put the underside of an Agaron's tongue on screen for the rest of the episode. I think that's clearly the way to go. I mean, to oh! be fair, it wouldn't be the worst monster body part that we've shown off recently. It's a research cutscene. They're my favorite types oh. of cutscene because they're full of learning and happiness. Yeah. Well, clearly not. I mean, Jesus Christ, how long did it take them to get here? Like, we were still standing here. Like, this must have been seconds. This wagon must have been rolling over as we were finishing it. <laughs> <laughs> This guy is so enthusiastic about monster corpses. He is. Oh no. Uh oh. Here it's the come. curios. The cereal box is opened. <laughs> Sorry, I heard but like a cow sound. The happening. cereal box has opened. Oh, look at those! And hell spews forth. They're like little floppy manta rays. They're so cool. Oh jeez. Oh, Hello, Malzano. Oh, oh, oh. Now you've killed the werewolf. <laughs> I could appear. <laughs> I like how he's telling them to move. He should also Look be moving. Look at him. Yeah, that is. Oh, that's a gorgeous creature. So he's obviously commanding the curios. Yeah, that makes sense. They fit his aesthetic. Look, wait, that's what? She just. So badass. Wait. He just went Guys. right. Guys, please, guys, when did you load that corpse? Wait, are we going to actually fight it now? I don't know. Is that what this is? Or is this just a prolonged leaving? Oh, jeez, oh, that's a roar. Uh-oh. Oh, I just love they're doing something to the body. They're desperately trying to push the car in the background. Yeah, I mean, we did think that they maybe were jumped, jumped the gun a little bit. We Go for say your that. right! Use your little did, sword and shield! Um, what? Oh. He's out! Oh, sorry, Ooh. how fast? Oh no. She's gonna die. Oh no. She's gen. She oh wait, no, she's just gonna cart. It'll be fine. Oh yeah, that's fine. I'm just gonna have a couple cats drag her away to the den. See, I feel like if we had like a lance, this would have been a much more reasonable moment for us to walk in front of her. Instead, it just looks like we're not helping. Look, all the curios are bristling yeah. off the Nagaron. Yeah, they're like eating it and then leaving, and then he's happy. It's like, this is all I wanted. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not at all. That is terrifying. Why is he saying run? You should also be running. They're like little flying leeches. Yeah. Oh, geez. And then he's done. He got what he wanted. That's so cool. That whole thing was so cool. It was? See, the thing is, based on what he did, it almost feels like he didn't really want to hurt anyone. He just wanted to get in and out and get his stuff done. I, I love how I'm stood here like, so remember how you stabbed Cotton at the start of the hunt? Here, have this blade to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Fearain, you don't have a sheath on your back. What? How did you? Don't ask what? about my skin flap. <laughs> and thus our heroes walked off into the sunset. I like how everyone's just calm now. It's like, all right, it's cool. Bahari, report. Well, the animals getting ripped to shreds and or eaten by Malzano were okay. Fear, you sure you're okay? You weren't hurt too badly, were you? So, do, what do you think, like, do you think that, like, one of the things with vampires, they can obviously make other things vampires, right? Do you think that her getting blasted by that tail energy is going to result in anything happening? I would be very surprised if that was the case. Malzano's finally graced the scene. It must be eliminated immediately. We will put an end to this! Dude, your dad's intense. I know. That's why I left. I know what this actually is, but this does sound like... The fuck? But the curio... The curio? What are you on about? I'm sorry, but the curio you talking about? Why, <laughs> why, did your, why did your stoic night dad just for a second get his California on? He just totally forgot. His, <laughs> he went back into his youngster days. Ah, uh, I see. He abandoned you to go night surfing. Well, he, he used to really spend a lot of time in Moga Village. Aggressive monster behavior, Malzano and the Gurio. Okay. I mean, it seems like a pretty open and shook case. I'm sure there's not a secret pulling strings massive Elder Dragon at the end of it all or anything like that. No, not at all. Not like a, like a Curio That's drone. never happened before 15 times. No, not at all. 
Lunagger on gear, Lunagger on gear, Lunagger on gear, Lunagger on gear. Oh. oh, we've reached the next rarity, my friend. That makes sense. Rarity 9. Apparently, Remobra is Rarity 9. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Which seems a bit unfair ooh, ooh. to everything that came before it, but you know. God. There is a new skill! Perform a Foley Dime switch skill swap just as the monster attacks to reduce the damage and negate damage reactions. They've given a ah. very purposeful reason for switch skill swap. Ah, so if you time the actual swap, basically, like, I mean, I guess Valisheath, then... Then you gain yeah. wire bug gauge backwards you and take no wire damage. gain wire bug gauge and auto dodge. Yeah, that's really cool. That's However, really awesome. I can't help but feel like people will start using this skill with two identical switch skill sets so just so they can press this button for a power up and do have nothing else change. You know, that's that's actually a really good point, isn't it? I kind of want really Lunagron cool. armor, if I'm honest with you, man. Yeah, that's I mean, pretty yeah, cool. I, 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 I'm not against it by any means. Oh, there might. Ooh. What is happen? Nighttime. Yes, but not Chiche. that nighttime. Yes, Chiche. Yes, Chiche. Write your diary, you adorable princess. Whoa, whoa. What's happening there? She's, oh! Uh, oh, maybe that, you might have been onto something. Remember that comment I made earlier? You Ooh, actually man, might have been onto time. something. Well, it sort of loops back to the way that Rise was with the with the Elder Dragons taking over the twins. What a sentence. <laughs> What you mean, but what a sentence. <laughs> that is interesting. Ooh. Ooh. There's no way. She's going to turn into a monster. <laughs> Why did the research from the battle like he was popping a dance squat? I would assume then that Malzano obviously have the ability unconscious? to inflict a thing on some sort hunters. Of, yeah, some sort and of this is kind of building up to it. Yeah. I, I love how Calliot! Fearane's unconscious? Weird. Yeah, you were like 30 feet away when it happened. Weird. That's weird, isn't it? Weird that. She's... What? Wow. Fucking weakling. <laughs> I know. Theoret it might just be like the words that he's using, but we might just have a really cool poison elder dragon then. Why I did I find that. curio poison in a wound inflicted by Melzano? Melzano's body is, is cursing with curio juice, so he does use them to feed... And then he yeah. sups what they've fed. Yeah, it makes it stronger. For some reason, it send Mal crazy. It only makes it stronger. And then that gives Curio the mid. So, so, okay. So, it's a symbiotic relationship. See? Look! Ah! I was ahead of you there, Bahari! I knew... I See? Same science length. I just told I you. I mean, it's a pretty it's a pretty clear guess, to be honest. Look, you shut up, pink man. You sound just like my dad. Admiral, yeah, it's just because... Like, it's like the little pop-up. Admiral Gallius liked this. <laughs> As he stares... <laughs> So basically, he's sicking a swarm of, uh, like, little flying blood leeches that make monsters that they feed on go absolutely mental. That's pretty cool. Makes sense to me. Tadori. When Malzno decimated the kingdom, a terrible plague followed. Dr. Tadori was able to develop a treatment and Ooh. saved countless lives. Now he mostly spends it's his time out in the It's the third Fleet Master field. equivalent. Hmm. He has an old friend in Kimura, the merchant Kagero. Ooh. Kagero did talk about his old hunting friend. He did talk about his old... Hunting friends. So, what are your words for Mr. Lunagaru? Uh, I mean, it's a little simple, but that's a that's a big bad wolf right there. Oh, who's afraid of him though? Uh, it seemed like it was Fiorane, to be honest with you. <laughs> Fiorane, she's dying now. Fiorane. Fiorain. She has a fear of rain. Anyway, like if you enjoyed that then, ladies and gentlemen, that is Lunagaron, the second lord, has been slain. Which means one but remains. Let's see and if sure Kagero be can the be end of, of the game. Or if Fearain will die next time on Pro and Noob Z. Do we have to yell for the next 30 seconds now? I honestly don't know. I don't know a protocol here. I am I this, this, is an, this is an unnecessary. This is an unnecessary situation. Okay, Subscribe I'll stop for that. more. Consider supporting future on Patreon down below. Okay, a good one. Goodbye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye